Facing a medical release from the military and our lives being flipped upside down, in March of 2017, we bought our property. In May the following year, we moved on to the untouched property to build our own home. We're on our way to our 65 acres that we just recently purchased. For the first year, we had no running water. The first eight months of that, we lived in our RV and we're building our home out of our heads as we went. It wasn't always easy, but our lives had changed and we had to get this done. Since our way of life in the military was now over, failure was not an option. There's gonna be many challenges along the way, but we had to move forward after a setback and begin a new dream. Ladies and gentlemen, we got one. Yeah! Woohoo! Right. Oh. Right. That should be good. What's going on? <laughs> Just so you know. The wrap. They can't see that. It was wrap. Pull the wrap over. Oh. <laughs> Get your cordon. It's coming along. We got our wood stove here. I own my own cleaning business on the military base where Jeremy was stationed. I have no previous experience building houses, so it was a whole new journey for me, building our own house while taking care of a small child at the same time and homeschooling her. She is the hardest worker I know, man or woman. If it wasn't for her, this project would never get done. The Unabomber's here. <laughs> Some projects were harder than others, but we always managed to find a way. I'm definitely not going to go and do a workout today. We'll not be visiting the gym now. My back has uh, got a good workout from that, I think. <laughs> It hasn't been easy for Jeremy since he got released from the military, but with each passing day, he gets more used to his new normal. We would tackle things bit by bit to not get overwhelmed with all the work ahead. Within eight months, we moved into the first small portion of our home because winter was coming and we just couldn't live in the camper for another Canadian winter. 
It was such a good feeling to be out of that RV and into a real home, though it was tiny. It's cool, eh? Yeah. Once we got running water and the extension built on and started on the interior, it was really starting to feel like a home. I doubt very much she had time to get rid of big old Mr. Kniff. We always have lots of fun working together as that makes the work days go a lot faster. Time goes by fast. I can't believe it's already been two years since we moved here. I'm so glad we didn't just sit back and feel sorry for ourselves because of the life change that got thrown at us, but took life into our own hands by building this homestead. We got the great room boarded in and the exterior sided and things really started to take shape. Getting a deck on the front of the home gave us that country feel we were always after out here in the woods. A place to have a barbecue, a coffee, and just a place to relax after the day's work. We've gotten lots done, but there's still lots more to do. We are currently working on a garage that will free up a bunch of space and give us a spot to store things while we finish the interior over the winter.
As time goes by, we've really grown to appreciate things we probably took for granted before, like running water, septic, and so on. You really don't realize how awesome those things are until you don't have them. See if this don't ring my ears, my ear ring my side one. Too big for Oh yeah. Like hammer and a trampoline. We wanted to be able to sustain ourselves after the military release. While being as self-reliant as possible, but still having all the modern conveniences. We still have a lot to work ahead of us, but we wouldn't change it for anything. And we've gotten closer through this longer than I ever would imagine. Well that should shore everything up. Should be good? Yeah. Yay! Come on, bring on the hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not too hard, though. Yeah. <laughs> good.